Uh, hi students, uh, actually I want to show you, uh, this is ANSYS Workbench and uh, I want to show you to how to uh, convert between the systems because here uh, uh, the, the analysis systems module is there in analysis systems uh, all the uh, different types of analysis systems are given suppose uh, I'm, I'm going to take the static structural so double click the static structural, the static structural window will open and uh, actually I want an explicit dynamics or a transient analysis and unfortunately I just click the static structural if the window is there and uh, unknowingly I just created all the boundary conditions and created the geometry everything was there and if I want to change this analysis into some, some different type of analysis like uh, if I want to change this into transient analysis what I can do I can simply go to this area and if you click here you can see there is an option replace with them. so whatever the analysis uh, with these conditions uh, is available you can convert it for example uh, this is a static analysis and if you want to change this into a transient analysis or explicit dynamics just click here and replace with uh, the transient analysis so the transient structure is there and if you click on it boom it's there transient analysis it is converted to transient structural analysis so whatever you have created that is the geometry and model everything will be converted but one problem is there because I'll show you that uh, if the geometry is there and uh, once you created the geometry that will be discretized meshed inside the meshing module but that mesh must be uh, if the mesh is created already that is inside the static structural if you created the mesh the mesh will be uh, or the elements which is assigned will be requ uh, will be suitable for static analysis you must uh, change that I will show you how to change that that is actually one problem because when you try to solve it will say it's uh, this element is not suitable for the particular or the converted analysis transformed analysis so for that I'm just creating a geometry Yeah, I'm simply creating a geometry just that's it and I'm opening this geometry it will take some time to load and one more area you need to pay attention because if you are converting static analysis to transient uh, transient the time is important or whatever the time step you are giving that is important if it is static um, you can uh, use the time as, as such because if it is provided as one second for the step uh, do you don't have to worry about those things in static analysis because anyway the time dependency is not there time is just showing how much load you transferred or how much you progressed in that analysis that's just the aim of the time in static analysis but it's not like in transient analysis because in transient analysis you must uh, consider the time uh, because time effects are there that uh, the load or the boundary conditions everything will be related to time so that's actually one of the main problem one second okay it's loaded so I'm generating the mesh so this is my mesh so if you go to mesh you can see the physics preference it is actually mechanical so here you can see all other physics preferences suppose you converted this analysis into explicit you must change this into explicit otherwise uh, sometimes the solution it will affect the solution it will say the element is not suitable for the analysis so when you are converting the uh, the for example I this is mechanical and I will sh give some boundary conditions just to I'm giving a load here or a displacement here say in this direction is a direction I'm giving a uh, minus 10 millimeter displacement and I'm going to fix this side providing a fixed support so this is my condition and if you go to analysis settings you can see the time and if this is static so I'll show you that also uh, 
I am just converting this back to static structural. So replace with the static structural. Okay, now it's converted. Then uh, I'm going to open this mesh. So if you go to analysis settings, you can see the time. Uh, time actually the yellow uh, yellow color represents or something is missing. Some data is missing. So I'm going to changing this into substeps. So I'm giving uh, substeps as um, five five so this is my substeps so by default if you directly start the static structural it will be assigned as one one our program controlled will be there so auto time stepping here it will be activated as program controlled so but in transient analysis you must give the the value that is the time steps must be given or either you can specify it as time steps or you can specify it as sub steps that is uh, directly you can specify it as time or you can specify it as sub steps okay so this is the main difference and if you go to uh, the physics preference it is mechanical and if you change this into explicit dynamics suppose I am going to change this into explicit dynamics so this will change uh, now it is open so if you go to mesh uh, that is the the model or the mesh area boundary conditions area you can see uh, the analysis settings the end time is missing because that this is actually required for the explicit dynamics I'm giving one second but it's not like because uh, when we are going for explicit dynamics actually it is for a uh, small time duration like a microseconds or 0 0.001 seconds if a process is there that's th uh, th those processes we will apply explicit dynamics so for the uh, for the value we are giving uh, sorry I'm giving just uh, it as one second uh, and second thing if you go to mesh it is still mechanical so when I try to solve it it will show some error yeah please check the mesh physics so, so you must ch change this into explicit dynamics that is you must change this into explicit dynamics this is the only dif only problem and if you resolve it it will start solving okay it starts solving so that's it uh, the uh, this is how to I'm going to stop the solution this is how we convert the systems between or if you are unfortunately uh, the unknowingly if you start some systems and you want to change the system into something else you can this is the method to use it and thank you uh, bye.